How's life? It's great, man. It's been busy uh, yesterday and today. Okay. So it's going. Are you finally 21 yet? Are you 21? Yeah, yeah, I'm 22 now. I'm Are you 22 now? Yeah, yeah, 22. Well, then you're going to start getting gray in your beard. Right. Okay. <laughs> no, I understand. Well, certainly, you know, what goes on in, in Pittsburgh from time to time, that'll make you lose your hair too, you know? Yeah, man. We're like the Kardashians. <laughs> it seems like it's tough to keep up with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Yeah. But it's just watching you play. You play with a certain, you know, um, shall we say, uh, enjoyment that comes through. Where where did that come from, Juju? I, uh, I, you know, I truly believe that my number one rule in life is to always have fun. And I've, I've been doing it since I was a kid. Um, obviously, I love this game. And, you know, everything that comes with it is just a plus. Mm -hmm. But to go out there and play football that I've been doing – you know, since I was four years old, it's just what I love doing. It's just the enjoyment. I you know, love to have fun. And you still riding your bike? You still doing that? Or that's that's gone? That's, that, no? No, actually, I actually got like five bikes that, you know, I ride during the summer. Not now. Um, it's like a blizzard in Pittsburgh right now. But okay, yeah. So you don't ride in the cold weather. No. I about to not. say, I mean, you're from Southern California, are you not? Yep. Okay, you went to USC. Mm -hmm. How do you handle the cold? How do you handle that? Uh, you just got to embrace it. I think over time and period, you know, you get used to it, mm -hmm. you play in it, you practice in it, and then come game day, it's just, it's to our advantage. Okay. Um, so um, before we, we get to a Gatorade here, I I mean, everybody's talking to you about Antonio Brown, I'm sure. Oh, correct? yeah, for sure. <laughs> so that's my way of getting right into it. Um, it <laughs> Well, I mean, you know, we just got to cut straight to the chase. Yeah, no, I, 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 we could ask, I could ask you about, would you like me to ask him about Darius Hayward Bay instead? I mean, I don't know if that's got the same sort of <laughs> juice to it. Ryan Switzer, when the last time you spoke, when was the last time you spoke to Antonio Brown? When was the last time? Uh, it was uh, season. The last end of the season. The end of the season. Uh, and after that, it's been vacation, and I just don't bother him. Okay. But do you talk to other teammates, though? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I was just at the Pro Bowl with some other guys, like T.J. Watt, you know, Cameron Hayward, and then, you know, uh, Pouncey, all those guys. Uh, you know, I talked, to, I talked to Ryan Spitzer, if you're wondering. Yeah, I am, yeah, I am wondering if you talked to Ryan Spitzer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, okay. talked, we talked about basketball. Okay. So do you uh, have you spoken to your coach, Mike Tomlin? Have you spoken to him? I spoke to him uh, two, three days ago. Okay. Big mm -hmm. Ben, have you spoken to Big Ben? I, I spoke to Ben. What's he up to? Chilling in Pittsburgh. <laughs> that's it? Yeah, that's it. Okay. So I I think you know where I'm driving at here is is Antonio is Instagramming out pictures of himself wearing San Francisco 49er uniform and and uh, Art Rooney is saying essentially that uh, he thinks it's not fixable in many ways. Do you think that it is fixable with Antonio Brown? I think it's fixable. I think you know, over the time, a period, um, it's going to hell. I mean – at the end of the day, you know, I think Antonio Brown, you know, he bleeds black and gold. He's the slowest for life. Um, you can see his his career, the numbers he's put up has been amazing. Uh, the chemistry that he has with Ben is unbelievable because of the numbers he's put up. And I, th I think he stays. I don't think he goes anywhere else. Honestly, we have all the pieces to the puzzle. And if we all stay and just play together for one go, we win the Super Bowl. Do you think your emergence in any way has gotten him a little jealous? I think the competitiveness. Uh, I don't. I don't think it's more so sort of jealousy. It's just you know, want to be better. You know, uh, you know, me being on a team makes him better, and he makes me better, and we just compete. What about you being voted MVP of the team? What did that mean to you? I mean, uh, means the world. You know, honestly, to have your peers uh, pick you an MVP. You know, I didn't think I was gonna you know win it. There's so many great players on our team that could have won it, and to have the opportunity to go and receive this award has been it's been crazy. But I mean, in, in you being asked about the state of the Pittsburgh Steelers, do you think this the whatever was going on, whatever did go on, whatever what we assumed was going on, did in fact lead to you not going on into the playoffs when it was all said and done? Yeah, I mean, you know, our season, you know, we start off with the situation with with Al Bell, and then you know the situation, with, you know, AB at the end. But at the end of the day, there was during the season that you know. James Conner did amazing. He had over a thousand yards. You know, uh, uh, doubled his TDs, and he he filled that 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 role. Me, and AB had a hundred catches plus, had a thousand yards. Uh, you know, there's just games where we just fell short. You know, whether it's uh, you know a missed field goal or you know we threw interception in the end zone. There's a lot of reasons why we we fell short towards the end. You know, the fumble against the Saints that you know I caused. There's a lot of reasons why we and. and at the end, we have to depend on another team, 
you know, to make the playoffs. But we're all, you know, watching in the stadium. Like we shouldn't be doing that. Okay. So you're here courtesy of Gatorade and Gatorade Zero. Is that what we have right here on the desk right here? Yeah, there you go. That's yours. Is this mine? Yeah. Can I can yeah. I use it to hydrate? You know, I'm running this weekend. Were you? Okay. The 40 yard go. dash. The 40 yard. Oh, yeah. There you go. You know, you know I do yeah. that every year, Juju. Uh, I'm doing it against Usain Bolt this weekend. Ooh. Do you have any tips? Any any suggestion uh, other than obviously hydrating with Gatorade Zero <laughs> prior and after? Honestly, I would just say use Gatorade Zero, you know, for your workouts. And I'm pretty sure you'll be faster than you were last year. See, that's why you're you're voted MVP. You're a good guy. You you know, you <laughs> you make your teammates better. And I consider myself a teammate of yours right here. Uh before I let you go, sir, because I know that you're heading to Radio Row as well. What, who do you think wins this Super Bowl? You've beaten the Patriots yourself, um, and obviously you know uh, the Rams having watched them, I assume, throughout the playoffs. What do you got for me right in Super Bowl 53? So I got the Rams winning. I'm taking the Rams. I'm L.A. native. Okay. Um, I want to see this franchise win a Super Bowl. Uh, and, you know, it's amazing because I got Aaron Donald as the MVP. You know, four to five sacks, you know what I'm saying? Okay. And uh, 30 to 27 Rams. I was about to say, give me a score because you're thinking this all thing. So 30, 27 Rams, Aaron Donald is the MVP. Yeah, and I got uh, their kicker winning, winning the field goal for them. So. That is as specific as it possibly right. gets. Let me write that all down. Right. Round, oh, of, wow, that's awesome. Awesome. round of applause for Juju Smith Schuster here on the Rich Eisen Show. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.